Hi guys, in this video we're going to have a quick look at angles in triangles. So the fact that you need to know for this is that all angles inside a triangle will add up to 180 degrees. So hopefully you already know that. If you didn't, you definitely need to remember it for any exam. Okay. So how is this useful? Well, if I have a triangle like this one in front of me here, I can work out the missing angle A if I know the other two angles. Quite simply, because if I do 60 plus the 80, so the two angles that I know, if I add them together to get 140, and I know that all three need to add up to get 180, I can just do 180 minus the total of the other two, which was 140, and I can figure out that A would be 40 degrees. Okay, so nice and basic. Now there's three types of triangle, and they've got special names which you do need to remember. The first of which, well not so special really, is a scalene triangle, where all the sides and all the angles are different. So this would be an example of a scalene triangle because it's all completely different. So that's the first one that you need to be able to remember. The next one is an equilateral triangle, where all the sides and all the angles are the same. Okay, which is quite easy to remember really, because equilateral has equal in it. So they're all sides and all the angles are equal. So if I look at this example here, here's my little equilateral triangle, and the reason why I can tell that all the sides are the same is because I've got these little dashes on the on each side here. Now all that means is that these three sides are, both, sorry, all three of them are the same because we have got one dash on each of them, and I know that all the angles are the same because x, 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 all the same variable, happy days. So to do this, different ways you can do it, if I add up all three sides, sorry, all three angles, I'm going to have 3x, and I know that all the angles in a triangle add up to 180 degrees. So I can say 3x equals 180. And you can solve this by doing the balance method or solve it using the flowchart. I'm just going to do a flowchart. So x times by 3 gets me to 180, and then 180 going backwards, so do the opposite, divide by 3 gets me back to x, so 180 divided by 3 will obviously give me 60. And no matter what the size, no matter what the size of the uh, equilateral triangle, the sides I mean, the angles will always be 60. Okay, if you didn't know how to do the flowchart or you don't know what the balance method is, have a look at my other videos uh, which explain how to use the flowchart to solve equations or the balance method to solve equations. So because I know that the angles in the equilateral triangle are going to be 60, that's going to help me with my second question over here, where again, because I've got lines going through these three sides, I can recognise that this is an equilateral triangle. And all the angles in an equilateral triangle are always 60. So the first thing I can do is put those angles in without any problem whatsoever. Now, if you haven't seen my basic angles video, give that a look, because that's how you work out what A is. When you have two straight lines like so, that didn't really work, there we go. If you have two straight lines that cross like that, opposite angles are the same, so that's going to be 60 degrees, because that's 60, because they're opposite. And then because that's a straight line, and angles on a straight line add up to 180 degrees, I can then work out B by doing 180 minus 60, which of course will give me 120. So that would be 120, and they will be 60. So using some basic angle rules there to help me with my triangle work. So that's two triangles, scalene, equilateral. The last one is isosceles. Now, isosceles has two sides and two angles uh, that are the same. So again, I've got these two dashes going through my sides. So that tells me that these two sides are the same. And then what I do is I just highlight them. The reason why I highlight them, like so, is to help me identify which angles are the same. Because it's always the two angles at the end. So if I do my two lines like that, because those two sides are the same, it's the two angles at the very bottom or at the end of those lines that are the same. So x is going to be 30, because it's the same. Okay, The angle that uh, is in the middle, that isn't the same, it's the other two angles that are the same. So that just helps you if it's twisted round or upside down or whatever, if you just highlight or go over the two sides that are the same, you should be able to spot then which angles are also the same. Now, because I know that's 30 and that's 30, I can do exactly the same thing like I did in my first example. I can do 30 add 30, which gives me 60. And because angles in a triangle add up to 180, I can do 180 minus 60, which will give me 120. So y would be 120 degrees. It'd be naughty. 120 degrees. 
and 30 degrees. Okay, so that's one case with an isosceles triangle where you got those two the same. This is the other case where you can have when it's an isosceles triangle. So again, because I've got two sides the same, I'm just going to highlight the fact that it's those two sides that are the same, in which case, at the end, at the end, these two angles are going to be the same. I don't know what they are, I'm just going to call them X, but I know they're the same because it's an isosceles triangle. So I could form an equation again. If I add all these angles up, X plus X is 2X plus the 100. And I know that if I add all those up, which I've just done here, that's going to equal 180 degrees. Okay, so again, using the balance method or the flow chart, whichever one you want, I'll stick with the flow chart, we can solve this. So x I times by 2 first, because of bid mass, I times first. Then I add 100, and I get 180 degrees. So going backwards, 180, do the opposite, minus 100, do the opposite, therefore I divide by 2, and I get back to x. So what is that? 180 minus 100 is 80 divided by 2 leaves me with 40 degrees because obviously it's angles. So that would be 40 degrees and that would also be 40 degrees. Okay, so that's hopefully just a quick little video just to illustrate the three different types of triangles and the problems that might face you uh, or questions you might have in the exam. Okay, hopefully that helps guys. Cheers.